Hey, it's the Taylor of Rocking Math. Uh, I want to begin our series on um, surface area, volumes, uh, and I think the best way to do so is to go ahead and, and make sure we have a, a solid foundation on perimeter, area, circumference, and whatnot. These are going to be before I think before we can really get into the three-dimensional figures, we need to make sure we are grounded completely in the two-dimensional or the flat uh, figures. Uh, perimeter, let's start there. Uh, perimeter of a square, the formula is uh, P is equal to uh, 4 times S, which means side plus side plus side plus side, or 4 times the actual measurement of the side. Uh, for instance, uh, we have a problem here that says he want to place a fence around his air conditioning unit. You know, people have a tendency to take those for the call. So if he fits it and we have one meter, uh, one square is one meter and the other square is one meter. So that means the other two is going to be congruent. They're one meter. So we need to determine how much fence is literally needed. So in order to do that, we have to make sure uh, that we understand that the formula for that particular square is P equals 4S and how will we solve it? Well, we look at the S and just substitute it into the formula. So we would have uh, 4S is, uh, is equal to uh, P is equal to 4S and then we we'll substitute 1 for S. That's going to give us P is equal to 4 times 1 and then now that'll be P is equal to 4 meters but one thing you want to make sure that you understand that these are metered squared. Okay, uh, now if we also want to take a look at if it's not a square, let's take a look at if it's um, well, feel like I may not have enough room here, so let's go up and do a little adjusting. There we go. That looks good to me. Uh, let's say if we wanted to uh, look at the the perimeter of a, a rectangle. So, of course, we know that a square is also a rectangle, just two different formulas. Here, because they're not only two sides are congruent, the formula says P is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Or we can also say P is 2L plus W. And in some cases, I've seen these things on these uh, standardized tests where it says uh, P is 2H plus 2W, which is height times width or height times length. So just kind of be careful there and know that you're looking at two times one side plus two times the other side. I think it's a good way of looking at it. So uh, again, uh, this individual has a tomato garden that she wanted fenced. And notice the verbiage, fenced, or wanted to frame. That means around. So we're looking at 1.5 by 1. Well, uh, that would be a rectangle. And now let's see how we solve it. Well, the first thing we want to do is set up our formula, which is P is equal to 2 times 1.5 plus 2 times 1, or we can set it up uh, as uh, P is equal to 3 plus 2, and that's after you do the multiplication. And then that's going to give you 5 meters. And I'm looking at something I did say previously when I said that the square that would be meter squared it would not so go back and make sure that you take that away from your notes because perimeter is around it would not be meter squared okay literally we are adding and we're not multiplying shortcut multiplication but it would not this 4s would be 4 meters and not meter squares only meter squares come when we do the area so that's um, a, a working problem live on my part and gave you the wrong information for the square. S same thing for the rectangle. No square, just five meters. Okay. Now, let's go down and look at a circumference. So we, when we look at a circumference, we're talking about the outer area of a circle. 
that's the same thing as the perimeter of a circle if you want to use that type of verbiage and uh, we can do so a couple of ways as far as the formula 2 pi r which means 2 times pi times the radius or pi times the diameter. The radius will be half the center spot from uh, where the, the circle touch, where the line touched the circle to the center spot and the diameter is all the way from one part of the circle to the other part of the circle. So anyway, the information they give us saying that this particular rubber stamp 1.5 inches and we want to know what is the measure and that is the diameter from one part of the circle to the other part of the circle. What's the actual length around the circle? And um, first thing we'll do is we will set up our formula. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r. And we're going to use 3.14 as pi, which means that we're going to give an estimate. So the next thing we're going to do is 2 times 3.14 times uh, point. 75 because that is half that's the radius that is half could we not have did this by saying 3.14 times 1.5 yes so you make that determination how you want to which which math skills are easier for you uh, somebody asked uh, well would that be the same thing as multiplying 2 times 0.75 yes I mean multiplication is commutative so you can determine which one you want to multiply first okay and that'll give us approximately the circumference is 4.71 so again I think it's important that we we go over these and make sure that we somewhat understand the basics of two dimensionals before we get into the actual three dimensional so now let's take a look at area now area is where we're going to get this unit square so we say area of a square is a is equal to side squared. Now I remember me telling you in class that this year on your well I think so last year on your on your star eighth grade star exam they took some of these formulas off that they used for tax and the area of a square is one that they took off. But it's not a big deal. You know this is a real shortcut to say a is side square. You don't necessarily have to do it that way. You can look at it and say a is still equals to length times the width or length times the height. It, it, it really really don't matter you there. So anyway let's take a look at what's the area of this unit, this air conditioned unit, this one by one air conditioned unit and as we can see mm, one times one. Well let's write the formula first. A is side square and A is one square a is 1 times 1, which gives us 1 meters square. Okay, so this is something that we need to really, 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 really make sure that we understand. And that's taking a look at uh, how we do the two-dimensional before we get really, really deep into the three-dimensional. All right, appreciate your time and effort as we get ready to embark on for six weeks.